Oh, okay, we're shifting gears just a little bit here. Help by air coming in droves to Maui as survivors patiently wait for supplies and assistance following the wildfires that have killed at least 96 people so far. And a class action lawsuit has been filed as well against utility company Hawaiian Electric. The plaintiffs claimed a down power line caused the deadliest wildfire in modern U.S. history. KCAL News anchor Ruta Bay Shabazi is live on the island with the very latest. Ruta Bay. Good morning, guys. Uh, we are here at a boat dock. This is normally uh, a recreation area with a beautiful beach where people come and hang out, but this is now turned into one of the front lines for very critical relief with people bringing in donations and supplies and then locals actually delivering those supplies by boat uh, over to the west side of the island and by jet ski. We were able to talk to some people who lost everything. They had to run out of the flames. They are now on this side of the island. They have no way even to communicate with their families back on the mainland. Some of them even doing the interviews with us saying, I hope my family sees uh, this interview on the news so that they know I'm alive because I don't have a cell phone. They only really have the clothes on their back. They talked about running through the flames. We talked to one person who actually came to Maui to start over because he had a, a diagnosis for a fatal disease and only had a certain amount of time to live and then ended up uh, uh, ended up losing everything in those fires. And we talked to some people also who really have survivor's guilt. I'm seeing people now, I'm just like, oh my God, you're alive. Oh my, that's, that's, that's gonna be my phrase for the next God knows how long. Oh my God, you're alive. Or oh my God, they're dead. And I feel selfish to say that I'm a survivor of this fire because it's thousands of people. I knowingly ran past people and I knew that they were going to die old young in between they yeah and it is so devastating just to think like every time I close my eyes I see her image I, I like I have nightmares of just screaming run 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 if you don't run you're going to die So you hear some of those firsthand accounts and it just happens so fast. Really, firefighters on this small island not prepared to deal with something that was so catastrophic, so quick and so devastating. But the community really stepping up here to help uh, with take people in and, and deliver much needed aid and supplies. But the death town count is continuing to climb. Sadly, dogs and search crews are going back into the hard hit area of Lahaina today to try to resume that effort. But they are facing a lot lot of challenges, including toxic dust and debris and also very, very high winds. Oh, it really is just so, mm -hmm. so devastating. Uh, Ruta Bay, thank you so much. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news streaming wherever, whenever.